Hello there, the Psalmist Oracle here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or sign-specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. This is the second time I'm filming this. I didn't make it past a minute <laughs> on the first try because my throat was um, scratchy, okay? When I was sitting here, I heard I'm sat. So, you know, when someone is, well, sat, it's kind of like an expression where maybe where if somebody wasn't paying attention before, they're sat. So there's someone who is sat. It's like an expression people use on TikTok. Um, and I found it so funny because I was looking at this death card from another deck. I actually might use that, that deck instead. Yes, let's use it. Um, you, you as a collective might have somebody's attention right now. Okay. Yes. And I heard I'm sat. Like, I don't know if they're sat by the divine, sat in a corner, sat <laughs> paying attention. There's just something about an energy being sat. It's giving I'm sat. So we're going to be using this deck. Catch a vibe. I keep seeing Queen of Wands. I just shuffle. I'm seeing the King of Wands. Two of Cups as I shuffle again. This could have something to do with the soulmate cycle. Doesn't have to be. Okay. I keep hearing I'm sat. I'm sat. Are you sat? Are you sitting down? Happy Good Friday. I had a nice a nice good Friday very relaxed very relaxed yeah you see I shuffled the same card that was facing me this is this is why I know I needed to use this deck there's some kind of there's a sense of admiration for what no longer is accessible okay that's what I'm getting I see a raven, I see a skull on this card. It's a death card, but it's the back end of the death card. Someone could be... When you see this this woman, right? I don't know, but it looks like these two masculines are admiring this one. Right? These two men here, they have flowers in hand. They're looking... Um, someone looks to be shining. There's a sense of admiration. Now, the other end of the death card is quite <clears throat> grim. It's the same two men facing uh, what looks to be like a ghost rider looking, grim reaper looking knight <laughs> with, a, with a horse with glowing eyes. I feel like there could be people, this, ha this could be like a retrograde kind of reading. You know, in Mercury retrograde, they say your exes come back and all that and you're going to get tested. This could be one of those readings because to me, this reads like, Two people admiring what they don't have access to. <clears throat> Something just dropped. <laughs> yes, this is the Nine of Cups. And there's frustration here. Yeah, look. The Nine of Cups is... Or no, the Six of Cups, which is indeed retrograde energy. The Six of Cups is memories of the past. The past returning. Okay, this is... <laughs> the Nine... Or the Six of Cups here. You see how this person looks like frustrated? They have their hands on their hips overlooking something that they can't get to. These are the cups. The cups are all over, uh, all the way over here. This person can't get to something. And it's like these cups, usually there should be water in them, but these are flourishing with bouquets, flowers. I really feel this energy of someone admiring what they no longer have access to because it's ended. Um, the death card is an ending. This is very burdensome. I'm hearing best be on your way. So <laughs> I literally see somebody best be on your way then. Someone in here could have been like cast it out, said go go about your bad self, leave. Um, but the way this person exited, you see this someone walking away. There are a lot of burdens. Like walking away was burdensome on this person. Turning their back could have been burdensome. This is an X reading and it's like <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be relevant because some of y'all 
don't even want to hear about it um we're gonna see if i can get some specifics and see what's relevant what's advised if it resonates with you it doesn't have to okay with the three of wands and judgment this is someone who's hoping to turn turn things around but i feel like a connection could have been under judgment a situation could have been under judgment it's kind of giving me it's up to the divine because these three people look much smaller than this very large energy it's like it's up to the fates it's not up to you anymore because this is someone who could be on a quest like when i see the three of wands facing me it's not the back it's like somebody is either doing something setting out an intention for judgment it's like they will be preparing for the final judgment the final say um but maybe they don't have the final say maybe the divine has the final say i just see admiration for what is no longer accessible and when i see somebody naked in a car it, it, it's an energy of vulnerability right so maybe people could be admiring a person bare, not necessarily physically naked, but a person who's not afraid to be themselves, a person who's not afraid to put themselves out there and be vulnerable in those ways, okay? Because it takes guts to do that, right? I see two people, at least <laughs> two, really just admiring somebody um, expressing themselves. You could also be a dancer for some of you. You could also have posted something where you're walking outside or doing something in the grass. Like, I don't know what it is, but to me, something is visible, physically visible. Having a good time under the sun, whatever it is, it, it's a glow, okay? You, someone here is glowing. And <laughs> people, it's almost like these energies feel like you are better off without them. And they, they are like, well, I can just admire from a distance. That's what it feels like. The death guard okay um as i'm about to shuffle i see justice the scales got balanced i'm hearing are in the process of getting balanced we have scorpio and libra heavy we have the two of swords the two of swords speaks of denial the two of swords speaks of being in two minds about a decision maybe I don't know if this is oh it dropped in my spirit because it's like they they didn't see the golden opportunity when it was presented to them the two of swords speaks of deny you see how she's blindfolded somebody could have been very indecisive about a situation that was literally a gift from the divine the ace of pentacles is like a shiny new opportunity for some of you you were the embodiment of a person's new lease on life it's like either collaborating with you, doing business with you, being in a relationship with you for some being committed to you was a new lease on life. And this person didn't see it at the time. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I'm also getting the energy. This person wasn't in, in a lot of chaos. How could they? There's something about this person having been maybe very distracted. Um, they were maybe hung up on two avenues. When you think of these, it's like the blue saber versus the red one. This person maybe was conflicted between what was good versus evil in their life. They had no clue. What I find fascinating is here the waters are chaotic. And here the moon is so bright and the water is so calm. I wonder if this is someone who's had some kind of an epiphany. But the top of the reading speaks of denial. Someone was in complete and total denial as to the role you were to play or supposed to play in their life. That's what I'm feeling strongly, strongly. And I don't know if this is something to do with this full moon season, solar eclipse, yada, yada. I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> Y'all in the comment section always help me out with the specifics, but I'm seeing a hanged man at the back end it's like this is someone who is gaining a different perspective now this is an ex it feels that way it's like oh now <laughs> you see my worth now 
And then I saw this uh, post of a woman. She was like, sometimes God intentionally hides your worth from people who are not meant to be for you or who are not meant to be the one. I see the fool flipped. I believe that's what flipped the fool. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse. For some of you, you too could be the one who was in denial. I see somebody getting out of heartbreak. I'm hearing that another cause. So some of you, you maybe failed to guard your heart properly. And I see somebody looking at the damage that they've done. It's like you see this person looking at the shield some someone here did not protect their heart properly but we have the full card so that is a bright new shiny day a new beginning here for someone i'm going to see who is who okay the magician manifestations queen of pentacles yeah you could be the one who is very grounded in a situation very nurturing you could be the one who has taken a leap of faith away from this person tell me a little bit more about who is in the fool card that's what we want to know seven of wands you not only were you instructed to take a chance elsewhere after some kind of heartbreak because the three of swords is absolute heartache but it's in the reverse you've healed enough you've healed enough to embark on a new beginning and I find the, the way this card fell out on top of the Fool card so telling. Today I saw a hawk-like bird. It looked like a hawk. Just swooping right in front of me. And I was like, anytime I see hawks, even in dreams, they're indicative of divine protectors, right? Something is protecting you. For real, Z's. There is protection. The Seven of Wands is like being defensive. But the way it fell on top of this card, and I'm seeing it paired with this one, you're being protected by this transition in moving away from a person. I also feel like you could have been the person in denial during the chaos. And maybe in the calm of your healing stage, you see something for exactly what it is. That can also be the case here. It's like you... Maybe we're in a state of denial. It took heartbreak and divine protection in this leap of faith to help you out and transition you moving forward. I'm hearing God has different plans for you. What can make it up? The Hierophant is like my God card. And it's like something about your birthright. You see this baby <laughs> and this key. God has different plans in mind. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune, your fate, your destiny. It's like, you're not meant to suffer like this, is what I'm getting. Okay. <laughs> Tell me more about the two of swords. What was this person in denial about? Wow, the four of cups. The four of cups speaks of emotional dissatisfaction, emotional unavailability nothing great <laughs> here it's like a missed opportunity yes but there's something very gloomy about this card okay it's like someone maybe wanted to see the best of a very grim and gray situation there was something about the situation that did not provide optimal sense of fulfillment emotionally and this really reads like those kind of people who love to give individuals the benefit of the doubt because they see the best in people. Okay, been there <laughs> still in ways I do that. But um, there's something here where a person either was left out a lot. I get this energy of feeling left out, feeling alone in a situation where you probably shouldn't have to feel that way. The Four of Coins also speaks of stinginess. This is painful. I'm seeing the Ten of Swords as well. Someone here watched the... There's an eclipse in the background. 
someone this eclipse season has either found out or is going to find out about a horrific betrayal. Um, if for some, it could be the ultimate betrayal. Maybe you already figured it out. Ten swords and this first, I just keep seeing this watch. It's kind of eerie like that. Like somebody knows the hurt something would have caused you if you are the empath that I'm speaking to because sometimes I have the flip end watching me too. <laughs> In complete denial of themselves. I feel them too. There are some people who are the ones inflicting the betrayal but swear they're the victim. <laughs> and I'm like... Ugh. Anyways, <laughs> back to the reading. I see somebody who did certain things that they know would have absolutely crushed you. And they just sat and watched. Like, this is a very ugh, kind of energy that I'm getting here. It's like, I'm just seeing it. It's like they just sit there and watch a person knowing dang well that what they're about to do or have done is totally wrecks any form of kinship, friendship, relationship. It's like, uh, you had all the audacity to do that. It's like someone was in denial trying to see like, it's like giving rose colored glasses, okay? A lot of us are, are guilty for that, but it's like, dang, there was literally nothing left here emotionally to really enjoy. And this is a past tense thing. I'm not saying that's the, that's the case now, this was the case. This is not going to be, oh, this will be the case for you. No, this is old news. What I'm reading here is old news. Because someone has already lifted themselves out of the heartbreak long enough to take a leap of faith and be protected from upstairs. This person has no access. They do not. This is what they did. For some of you, even as recent as this eclipse season, they ultimately betrayed you. This person had other interests. There's some kind of betrayal that took place. And this person left you here. Twiddling your thumb. Neglected in some way. And, and stingy with their time, energy, and resources. Yes, this is a knight of wands. This is someone who comes in. Where the crops who look like it's worth investing in. This is really one of those, though the grass is greener on the other side kind of energy so when your grass looks green enough they come and pitch you and then they leave yeah this is one of those because they're energetically they have very little like it just looks like someone who the tree looks quite dry right this is someone who comes in for something i don't know if they come in for your energy your brightness your nurturing qualities, your money, what your <laughs> intimacy with the Knight of Wands, whatever it is. This person was very stingy, but it's like, I'm just getting a top up here. This is someone who comes in and tops up on your energy. Leaving you like this. <laughs> it's like, ugh. Leaving you drained. Leaving you feeling like, well, what did I get out of the experience? Someone was in denial here. Not anymore. Not anymore. This is someone who knew that they did something that would betray you or is considered a betrayal. Tell me more. What else do we need to know here? This is what I mean with when I mentioned that hawk swooping in. This truth is <laughs> painful. But this truth is also bringing you towards the honor and respect you deserve. Okay. It's like you've reached some kind of new height in accepting this truth. The Ace of Swords is God's clarity. Okay. God's clarity. This could come through epiphanies, revelations in your dreams. Um, you're going to soar if you accept the truth because in being in denial, you're holding yourself back and making yourself subject to the storms that you don't have to put yourself through. This is really one of those readings where it's like suffering is optional. 
If you know who and what is attached to your suffering and you're no longer in denial about it and you choose to accept God's clarity over the truth here, you will no longer have to be neglected, miserable, and subject to a person being in and out stingy with their time, energy, and resources. You are a wounded warrior. The Nine of Wands is somebody who has been through hell and back, but they refuse to give up on themselves. You're incredibly resilient, and that is very admirable. And I'm hearing this is old news. I'm reading something so that someone can piece things together for themselves so that they can move forward in God's clarity and light. It's like... I'm going to get I'm going to get more. I'm seeing the high priestess. I'm seeing her back though. That's the intuition. For some of you, there are two things you needed to collect here. Two keys. Yeah, two of pentacles. It's like you were back and forth on this person, back and forth on this truth. But your intuition knew for some of you. It's like you are very intuitive and you maybe wanted to believe again i keep i keep feeling this very empathetic i'm gonna get more this in this card the first card i'm gonna get more about this two of swords can we see more about what this individual was in denial about what is the reality justice wow this is so profound I knew, I was like, look at my chills. You know, when, when something drops in my spirit, I get a lot of chills. Oh, and where the card fell as well is absolutely fabulous. You did not see that the minute you threw your guards up, the minute you honored yourself and had healthy boundaries, that you would get your justice immediately. And this is not even the kind of justice that people see. It's the kind of balancing of the skills the minute you decided to accept God's truth. Justice fell right on top of the hidden helper energy that is protecting you. That told me that you, right, <laughs> this collective, did not see that justice would reign over your situation the minute you stepped out of the denial. The minute you decided to take a leap of faith elsewhere. The minute you decided to turn your back on this sorry state. It's a very like, this This is the kind of person who either left you, you know, needing to dig yourself out of depressions. Left you feeling drained after interacting with them. Left you feeling neglected like you weren't a priority in their life. You maybe were feeling like an option. Let's see what that justice looks like because this reading is, is really interesting and the way the cards are trying to speak to me is fabulous. The moon. You did not know. You didn't you didn't realize it until you decided to take a leap of faith elsewhere. Tell me about justice. What else are were they unaware of? Three of Pentacles. I'm hearing something is arriving. This looks like a package. Did y'all order something off of Amazon? Was it worth it? Can you drop in the comments what you got off of Amazon? <laughs> Are you one of those? <laughs> it's like, was it worth it? What kind of gadget did you get? I'm just teasing y'all. This is someone who has a package in hand. Three of Pentacles speaks of collaborations, building on things, building on maybe new foundations. I'm seeing a rose. Do you see things arriving? There are certain things arriving now because you freed up your energy for things to come forward. Okay, and, and there is a boundary, energetic boundary for things that don't serve you to be blocked off. Okay, I'm seeing a rose. There could be a new admirer in your life. The Three of Pentacles just speaks of collaborations, whether in business, um, your career, things that you like doing. I'm hearing get the ball rolling. This is the sun card. <clears throat> you could be shining on people who might feel defeated by this, 
the five of swords speaks of jealousy needing to get the upper hand it's almost like the fact that i'm seeing the back end the sun isn't isn't shining <laughs> on these people i don't know why i'm just getting this energy of either something bothers another okay <clears throat> or they don't get to be in your energy anymore the sun is is, is a very potent energy that's leo energy as well it's like whew, that supercharges everything the light supercharges everything i'm seeing church some of you you guys are applying yourself at communities groups that add value to things something more about justice moment of silence for your enemies because my goodness I'm, I heard raising hell justice <laughs> the five of wands is chaos conflict but again your back is turned you're the nine of pentacles you are so independent from this situation the nine of pentacles is someone who's very independent and what is even more fabulous you don't know this is going on okay it's like <laughs> I'm independent from this. I'm talking to birds, looking at the moon. <laughs> this Nine of Pentacles person is unbothered, okay? You are completely separate from what I'm picking up on right here. And I literally heard, when I see, when I think of justice, this is divine justice. You see this same en energy. This is, a, this is an energetic thing. This is not somebody that is physical. This same person that jumped out to protect and assist is in this card going toe to toe with something else but when i see the volcano and this disruptive energy it's like chaos it's like these are your i feel ancestors or spirit guides or someone going to battle on your behalf you aren't even it's like you don't need to worry you don't need to <laughs> like get your hands dirty it's being done for you the minute you decided to accept divine clarity move forward and trust god to take a leap of faith from what was hurting you draining you and sucking you dry you're getting your justice okay this is insane the way it's like tell me more about what justice looks like this is karma in full effect but the kind of karma that we can't really like either see directly this is, I feel, a spiritual battle. But when I mean, it's almost like something else <laughs> just came in and said, I'm assigned to him or her. Okay, bet. That's literally how it feels like. And this is confirmation. I'm assigned to her. Okay, I'm assigned to him. Now, it's like you leveled up. You leveled up. You, you accepted the spirit of discernment to take a leap of faith when you've been hurt one too many times. And now, I don't know what these energies are fighting off. Your haters? Someone who did you wrong? I don't know. Energy, negative energy thrown your way? I'm not sure. But this one's really busy. Like, wh whomever this is on the other side helping you, it's <laughs> got their hands full. They're like, it's on. <laughs> it is on. Like, this is hilarious. And I'm getting confirmation chills this entire reading. It's like, it's on like Donkey Kong. Let's go. Square up. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're here. Ooh, Chile. Yes, we do love a good, happy, we, we love a happy ending, guys. We love a happy ending. Okay. <laughs> I love the silver lining ending. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something right now. You have caught the eye of someone quite impressive because, you know, you're going to be very distracted over here. That's why I love this deck. Shout out to Kelly. This is a vice versa deck for those of you who are interested in getting this deck. This has two sides to it. What I love about what I just saw back here, we have this nine of pentacles, right? They consider this pre-empress, pre-emperor energy. It's like this is that person who is flourishing on their own. They are one pentacle away from having an empire with their long-term partner and flourishing. And whatnot. It's like you are, you don't need anybody. It's that single era. It's that independently owned and operated era. Okay. Look who's, who you are facing. This is an emperor. 
this is someone who has either gone through similar, who has elevated to some extent, who gets, I'm just getting this energy. This is, this is someone assigned and you know why I see the ace of cups. This is a new, this is a new cycle in love. It's, ah, uh, you know what this feels like? It's like God is not going to make you have, get egg on your face. This leap of faith is putting the leap, is putting your faith in the most eye. You think he's going to have you get egg on your face? You think he's going to leave you stranded? I see someone's life improving significantly when they gave their problems up to upstairs. Long enough to take a leap of faith. It's like, I'm not going to try to figure this out on my own. I see the truth. I feel it. I'm no longer in denial. I'm taking a leap of faith. Not only did you have divine helpers literally fighting your battles on your behalf, ensuring you get this justice. This justice feels like affirmative. In this season, this justice is coming. In this season, karma is being dished out. And it's like, you don't even have to be bothered with those things because you're too busy here. Gathering your peace. Gathering your stability in the self. And a, and a, and a, and a very impressive energy is not too far off as well. This could also be you, okay, stepping up in this power. But to me, I'm seeing new love, guys. I am. Ace of Wands. I'm done. <laughs> if y'all aren't looking to conceive, you better wrap it up. Because this combination is perceived and conceived. Ace of Wands <laughs> and the Ace of Cups. To me, it's like, anyway, I'm not going to go and explain. But a reader knows. If, if, if you're a reader, you know. <laughs> Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups is like immediately. Anywho, the Two of Wands is plans, okay? Um, being inspired to move forward, making a free will choice. We have the King of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. Somebody could, might you might even have to like travel. The Six of Swords speaks of travel. The King of Pentacles speaks of... Maybe even money moves, okay? But this King of Pentacles gives me spouse energy. The world, that's, I can't make it. <laughs> I just love the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this person's at a distance from you. I have the King and Queen of Pentacles. When I saw the King of Pentacles, I was like, this gives me spouse energy. The world, and then I saw the Queen of Pentacles. This is two people coming together. Look, 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 look. You see what's in her antlers? The same bird I saw earlier today only a, lot, a little bigger this is like a hawk okay you're you are it's almost like the fact that things are gonna balance its way out like this you're no longer going to make decisions that you don't consult with upstairs first or your spirit guides or whomever because you fully see what taking a leap of faith will bring you okay it's like trust I'm trusting the universe. I'm not getting egg on my face because it's like, truth be told, you're getting more egg. You're getting egg on your face staying where you're sat, darling. I don't know who needed to see it, but it's like, this is where one gets egg on, on one's face. The denial, it's like, let may it lift, may it clear. The pain, the constant cycle of hurting. It's like this leap of faith comes with divine clarity. Again, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what that looks like for you. You receive it the way you receive it, the way the divine intended to give it to you, whether it be in your dream. Personally, for me, it's in my dreams. I will see things miles ahead in my dreams. <laughs> I wake up and I'm being whispered things and it's like, oh, wow, really? Yeah, no, <laughs> nobody can sit to tell you what your truth is, but God gave you the truth. Believe it the first time. Because there are certain revelations that empaths receive and they're like, well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. And eventually it plays out in real life, okay? And you're going to start learning to trust your intuition. You're going to start learning to trust your gut feeling. You're going to start learning to trust the revelations you receive. And when that happens, you aren't going to be too shaky about leaps of faith. But this is a leap of faith that is so rewarding for you where it's like you're going to want to continue trusting that relationship with upstairs okay fabulous i absolutely adore this reading um confirmation for some of you there's something here about the internet um my left foot just got hot okay that's a new sensation i'm receiving um it, it happened once or twice before but now it's like these days my my left foot is becoming very hot 
you're going to be collaborating with somebody who it's like it's giving long term because that's what you're setting yourself up for you're not settling yourself with games okay you've purposely let go of somebody who's been playing you silly okay and you're gonna be way too distracted with whomever this one is <laughs> which i mean i don't blame you you're gonna be way too distracted i'm also getting this energy of of you needed saving i'm seeing a tower it's really giving me rapunzel <laughs> It's like Rapunzel let down your hair. No, this hawk. I'm telling you, every time I see this damn bird, <laughs> it's symbolic. You were literally saved. I don't know how it did happen, but it's like, let's say you were in denial. This revelation is supposed to wake you up. Let's say this heartbreak had you on the floor. You were literally restored energetically. Something happened so that you could save yourself, but you weren't just saving yourself the divine saved you and is now protecting you and is ensuring you transition moving forward because you don't deserve to suffer more than you already have this denial is a personal choice okay because if you got the truth and you still choose to be in denial that is a personal choice learn to take accountability for the denial we choose to sit in because the truth can be sm sl slapped across our face and we will still choose to see something differently. This is someone who is no longer choosing to see what, what the potential in a person, the potential in a situation that has you here. It's like, no. May God order my steps and walk me through where I'm celebrated, where I'm cared for, where I'm reciprocated. Because you now value yourself for a lot of you. That's how you receive your justice. Not sitting in situations that perpetually take you down. Hoping that it would change. The change starts with you, actually. That's what I'm seeing. And it's like, you need to honor a season of being single. That's what the Nine of Pentacles is. That's how you upgrade. <clears throat> tell me more tell me more i'm a little curious about this battle because what's going on over here <clears throat> okay working overtime to block something away from you this is someone who okay yeah that's that admiration look we have the nine of cups and look at the this is you i feel this is the collective just floating in someone's imagination, you are literally, um, <laughs> let's see here. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups. Yeah, Page of Swords. This is someone who's monitoring you. Wow, this person could come in very like suddenly with communication. This is someone who's looking at you much like that's that sense of admiration I saw in the beginning. This is someone who's looking at you admiring you but look she's she's not accessible she's literally floating what are you gonna do grab her by the leg and pull her down you are no longer accessible for a reason this reading is only here if you have the gonads to say you know what i deserve the best <laughs> i've seen enough here if you are in that season right now this reading is for you otherwise then this reading might not be for you you are, for some reason or the other, no longer accessible to a person who could have taken you for granted. Okay? That's what it reads like. Because this is you. I'm reading it, this as having been you. Past tense. Okay? Wounded warrior. But you're still here. <laughs> for some of you, something really... I'm not going to go there. But for some of you, something almost took you out. Okay? I don't know why it just hit me there's at least one of you who were who was that in a dark place okay that depressive to a situation where it's like oh why am i here what what is life you could have had those moments that's why it's like be even more grateful that that energy came forward and protected you once you woke up and decided no i'm done suffering i'm done feeling this way okay wonderful um so yeah you are being protected from an energy that admires you but feels like you're unobtainable this is someone who watches you in secret 
with the moon to the page of swords and the eight of wands this is someone who it's like for some of you have a few haters as well who could have sent something negative your way but this is also an energy of someone who they get triggered watching you to me the, this eight of wands looks quite triggering okay that looks like a whole unicorn floating around with lightning and darts flying this is usually a communications card and this is a stalking or watchful person this in this case they don't look happy they are looking at you and they're feeling triggered for some of this is someone who's been looking at you for months to years okay seven of pentacles is a time frame estimate okay tell me more <laughs> what is the collective being protected from three of cups People who are insecure around your energy as well. The Three of Cups speaks of community people. Okay, sometimes. Maybe people who try to embody you, I'm hearing. They're in their head. There's something about people being, like, affected. There's something about them also being tied up. They can't touch you anymore. I don't know what it is. Maybe once upon a time they affected you. Maybe the once upon a time they came for your neck. I don't know what these people did, but it's multiple. The Three of Cups speaks of multiple. But these are of the same sex. So these look like maybe people who try to embody your energy, try to figure out it's like what is your what is your flow like? What is your thing? What is so special about you? Whatever it is, these people are being caught up in their own insecurities. For some of you, you are very spiritual or intuitive and that might intimidate these people they're all being caught up y'all <laughs> the way i'm reading it this looks like groupies are are you know i'm hearing the word frenemies for some of you these people were friends once upon a time a lot of people who talk to when i see birds as gossip this th this is insecure but they can't do nothing this is them and the eight of swords this is you i feel like you you could be an intuitive you could be an intuitive. For some of you, there are people who have done stuff to you energetically and they're paying for it now in the Eight of Swords. That's spiritual jail for some of you or you don't know what that is. Okay. And it's like, I don't mind people who feel inspired. <laughs> okay. But this is really giving like copycat energy. But it's giving, I want to do it better than you and I want to outshine you and I want to step on you or I want to talk smack on you. This difference. There's a difference between someone genuinely admiring a person and feeling inspired. I'm also hearing people who give credit where credit is due. And then you have other people who are like, well, I don't want to, okay? And there's a difference. There are a lot of them who are being caught up right now. Oh, speaking of caught up, the hanged man, I'm done. <laughs> the hanged man flipped up so chaotic. The divine is literally snatching people. It's like, where do you think you're going? You have to answer. You're now, these people could now be in a season of stagnation. I don't know why it's coming like that. These people are now in a season of stagnation. Things have either dried up for them or there's something off about the consequences of their actions. And this was in the reverse. So it's an energy of stubbornness, the inability to gain a sense of enlightenment or to change their outlook on things. Okay. These people are literally being caught up, y'all. Literally. someone here could have had a visitation i don't know if um this is the star card this is insane i love this deck <laughs> i don't know if some someone here could have had a home vi like a visitation now this could mean anything um <laughs> it was an eight y'all i am done the star card my temperance angel that's why i said visitation i don't know what happened y'all but for some of you you <laughs> this reading is so um what's the word whimsical because i'm seeing a visitation this thing does not look human and then i got an angel beside this card to confirm and then i got another angel and cue the dogs howling someone was energetically visited okay and i it feels it doesn't feel human it feels very it feels very reassuring though it's not negative this could be for the collective okay that's that an energy visited and for others of you uh yo <laughs> what are these messages 
I'm seeing a lot of energetic activity, like the things we cannot see. I'm reading it. They're balancing things out. I'm going to grab another deck to clarify what they're trying to do here because I find this absolutely insane. There are certain visitations going on. It's like they're either checking in or they're doing things, okay? The lovers, this could be reassigning soulmates or are encouraging a union amongst partners that match or feel aligned. Okay, this is divine realignment. The lovers, the star, the temperance angel. And this is where, this is something else that I picked up on as well. Some aren't having the nicest experience because they're under judgment. There could literally be a haunting because this is a different kind of visitation that I picked up on as well. So I have two visitations or two energetic visitations. Some people could literally feel haunted this season while others are literally being like, topped up energetically balanced out by angels again it might sound crazy to some not to me <laughs> not to me and i'm being called to share something that happened to me and it's like it's one of those experiences that i i will never forget um i had a real i had a dark night of the soul okay this was a few years ago I had a dark night. It was such a gut-punching, emotionally painful experience. And looking back, it's like I could see based on my wounding with my father why I felt that way at the time. And I was sobbing, y'all. When I tell you the pain I had in my chest, it's like the worst heartbreak ever. And I was just begging. I said, God, please get rid of this pain in my heart, okay? Something triggered that wound of my father. Something really like triggered it completely. I don't even remember the vivid details. I just remember how I felt. I was in excruciating pain, bawling, like beyond sobbing. It's like I just wanted to rip it out of my chest and say, God, please. When I tell you I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I just like rolled myself up like a little child in a ball. And I said to myself, I said, you know, I don't know what happened. I fell asleep eventually. It was just like one of those nights, right? I fell asleep and at odd hours in the morning, I felt this humming like warm sensation on my chest. And... I woke up feeling like I had at least 12 hours of sleep. I thought I woke up in the middle of the afternoon. It was like 3 in the morning or 4, something really early. And I thought it was the afternoon because I felt so well rested. I felt so calm. I felt so at peace. It's like something came, helped me out in my heart chakra. And I felt like, it's all, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it other than it's like being a child and cradled to bed and then having the best sleep of your life and then waking up refreshed, energized and at peace. And just, I was like, what happened? And I just started, I just started saying thank you because I didn't see anything. It was just like this, I felt the pressure here. And it felt warm and it felt like this weird, it was the weirdest sensation. My whole body just felt so well rested. I probably had two or three hours of sleep. How on earth do I feel like I had 12 hours of sleep, but I only woke up two, three hours later? Imagine. I was like, time was so different in that, in that moment. I was like, I was so confused, but I knew that I got helped. I'm seeing <laughs> some kind of energetic visitation for people in a positive way. And then I'm seeing this for people who feel haunted. And I, again, I don't know what's going on y'all. I'm just a reader. Clearly this deck was here for a reason. Do you see this in this corner? That's a less pleasant energy. The Nine of Swords is a card notorious for anxieties, nightmares, feeling like this, that, and the third. There are people who are anxiety ridden right now because it's part of their karma. I don't know how to explain it. I'm seeing balance being restored in ways that are just unfathomable. The star card is also a card notorious for healing. What side are you on? 
right? There's balance being restored. Some people, it's not looking too cute for them. Others are being more grounded in their experience because of what they've been through. It's like, no. And I keep it, God knows your heart. God knows your heart. There's something very like, <laughs> I will never forget that experience. I, 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 I never shared it. And it's like, I've shared it with my mom, but I have never really openly shared it because it's just, there's no way to describe it. There was no way to describe it. I've never felt that safe. I've never felt so loved. I've never felt, it was just so special. And the time, it's like time was so irrelevant. I thought, I, I, I swear, I, I thought I slept the whole day or something. And when I look, I said, it's only two, three in the morning. It's like, wait, what? It's only been three hours. How do I feel so, when I tell you, it's like my whole body just, just energy, good energy, just chef's kiss energy. I was like, where did this come from? Fabulous. It was just, there's no way to, to describe that. So I'm seeing visitations. Okay, if you feel tingly when you wake up, I know I've had that recently. Those could be those as well. There's a lot going on um, energetically that is just no way, no way to explain it. Um, you know, give credit where credit is due. The divine, the divine is doing this. <laughs> There's no other explanation, y'all. There's no other explanation. Okay, see if I can get a few of these. There's another deck I want to get. A personal issue reaches a resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Things are coming full circle here, but that personal issue thing is very much what I was describing too. If there's something that once upon a time was a problem, it is being taken care of. Step out of your comfort zone is here, which was that leap of faith. Something like do something differently. If you have been suffering, if you've been in a repeated cycle, switch it up. <laughs> this is no time to sit into another season of more BS that you don't even have to suffer for. It's like suffering is optional. Divine help is here. That is literally what this title is likely to be. I want a deck so bad and I'm not really seeing it. And sometimes it's literally right in front of me. I have so many. It's that blue one. Give me one second. All right, I didn't get one. I got three. <laughs> okay. Um, this was the deck I was looking for. Oh, I grabbed two. I accidentally grabbed two cards with it. Ace of Wands is a page of swords. Somebody is looking and they want to do something. I'm telling you, there's, there's a stalker energy here and they want to take action. I'm not sure who it is. I could see later, but this reading is kind of long enough as is. Um, let's see. Look, hostilities. It's hostile <laughs> in the energies. Okay, that Five of Wands is so relevant. It's energetically, it's like war, but you're not seeing it. Anxiety in the reverse. That's beautiful. I feel like you're coming, maybe you are, mm, that's that having faith in the divine that you won't get egg on your face. For some of you, you could be in a season where it's like you're afraid that you're not going to be victorious in this shift, but you should honor the shift. I, I'm just getting this energy, do it, do something differently. Anxiety in the reverse. I'm hearing uncertain times, big changes. This is also maybe not your energy, but maybe someone knows that they failed something or that they're not going to be victorious. This could be someone entirely differently. Okay. And for some of you, you need to not worry because if this reading resonated with you, you're likely not on the end of... Again, this is really suffering is optional kind of energy. Maybe your, your anxieties are lessening. It's like if you're still in that heartbreak season because of what someone else did, um, or what you and your denial put yourself subject to. <laughs> Let's be real. 
um you're coming out of this okay maybe you're worried like what is going to come up da, da, da. like the, this is like a limbo phase or the unknown spirit is saying just relax okay a personal issue will reach resolution when you think of cancer i'm getting the energy of like emotional stability and security because it's like i want to feel safe i want to feel sheltered i want to feel you know it's like that home body energy this change is here but you have to work on your sense of security and the self and trusting that this leap of faith is for the better because it could i'm hearing it couldn't possibly get worse <laughs> okay and don't try to find out <laughs> <laughs> okay we have angel of balance that's exactly what i felt those angels are coming to balance out the scales whatever that looks like for some of you you were pushed into that leap of faith for some of you, you felt like i had no choice but to be done i had no choice but to stop this or have boundaries that's how you call balance in your life I'm telling you right now, this balance is happening. That's why I see the energies on both sides. Some people feel haunted and bothered and nightmarish and other people are feeling more grounded. Your dreams could be very strange, okay? Angel of love is also, angel, 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 okay? Angel of love is also coming in. That's why I saw divine pairings. Door to spirit cracked wide open. I don't know what the energies are doing, but it's like the other side is just choo choo choo. <laughs> I had a reading. I can I can see orbs in my readings too. I see them sometimes. There's a difference between like a fruit fly <laughs> running through the screen and then a little floating thing. Yeah, I mean the veil is thin lately. They be doing things a thinking woman i'm hearing you're smarter than this if you're still sat here maybe y'all are sat for this reading <laughs> if y'all still sat here and you're feeling sad about something i'm hearing you're smarter than that you're so much smarter than that okay a thinking woman you could be reading up on new books you could be like wondering what's on the other side of this leap of faith for some of you this comes with a journey a trip for some of you that person that you're meeting comes when you travel okay there's something exciting i'm hearing pack your bags yeah for some of you have a work contract overseas or something is taking you in a new direction for some of you work or some kind of new it feels like a fresh contract is taking you to go somewhere else for a change to switch things up i'm also hearing a conference I'm also hearing something about your mind, okay, taking you different places, the way you think. Another angel. Yeah, this has a lot to do with your creative projects and your, your drive, your motivation to push forward, okay? I'm hearing you are brilliant. You have a brilliant mind. You see, you see things differently. And this angel, I'm only seeing a lot of angels. I just knew I had to grab this deck. They're like, yeah, we're all here. We're all here. Love balance being restored with karma and they have the drive to do <laughs> and create new things yeah and i feel for some you've reached a sense of balance to attract a new soulmate for some of you or to reach that sense of harmony with an existing one okay victory i'm getting this energy of someone recognizing the attachments that were blocking victory in a union but to me, this reads like the, ba the balance in your energy being victorious. And that's why you're attracting a new person. For some of you, are you attracting better? Are you attracting an, an upgrade? It just reads like an upgrade. An emperor is an evolved masculine. If you're a feminine that I'm talking to, an emperor is top tier, okay? <laughs> Whether it be someone you already know or someone new. But once you recognize where the negative attachment resides, you can free yourself long enough because I keep hearing suffering was always optional. It took your denial to lift for you to accept what's in front of you and switch it up. Okay. Door to spirit. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's finish this up. Change. It's happening. I'm hearing. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without moving. That's why it's like, come on. <laughs> the wheels gotta spin. That's why I keep saying, do something differently. We have purpose, health. They're kind of in the reverse. I shouldn't take them. Pride. 
friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. You could be meeting new people this season, given this change. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. <laughs> They're warning you not to be cocky <laughs> once you go through this new phase. <laughs> I don't know why I have to laugh. When it's, they're like, don't be too puffed up now. Because <laughs> things are going to start looking good. Okay? Be humble. And peace. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. You are releasing negative energy. For some of you, someone is in a waiting season to take action on something. Let me get a few last ones of these and call it a night. If you believe, that's why it's so important. That's that leap of faith. They're like, yeah, we'll work on your behalf. Yeah, it'll get better for you. Yeah, but you have to believe in us. You have to believe in God. You have to believe in that leap of faith. I just find this such a fitting like ending of a card. If you believe it, yeah, if you believe. If you believe the truth we share with you the first time. If you believe the revelations we drop in your spirit. If we believe, if you believe the signs that are right in front of you, that something isn't it. If you believe that things could get better from here on out. For some of you, something is not the right time just yet. Meditation brings you answers. Remain positive with these big happy changes. For some of you, these can take place in the next few months. But you have to, I just keep hearing, honor honor your season of being alone for a bit. If it's not the right time. So I can't sit here and tell you when the right time is, okay? <laughs> if it's not happening just yet, just be in that Nine of Pentacles energy, have faith, and keep it pushing. That's what I have for you. If this read resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.